Some people think that you can't or shouldn't change numbers in the ways we watched, working with a 20 instead of an 18, for example. They think that you're somehow not allowed, but it turns out to be a really important thing to do. Some people think there's only one way to solve a problem, or they think that the only way to solve a problem is to use an algorithm. Like in multiplication, when you put one number on top of the other and multiply each number step by step. And often that doesn't make sense to people. People see mathematics in very different ways, and they can be very creative in solving problems. It is important to keep math creativity alive. If you ask mathematicians what math is, most of them will talk about a beautiful, creative subject. But often, the beauty and creativity isn't seen in school math. When you learn math in school, if a teacher shows you a method, think to yourself, what are the other ways of solving this? There are always others. And discuss them with your teacher or your friends or parents. This will help you learn deeply. I'd now like to give you another opportunity to use numbers flexibly. Try this problem, and this time don't use an algorithm, if you did before, where you write them out and you carry numbers, but try changing the numbers into friendlier numbers, as we saw in the videos. And the problem is 12 times 15. 